Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I want to show you something super important if you're using any of these guitar or bass strings. The subject of this video is something that I call um, a well-known secret. There's a simple yet very important step you have to do when putting round core strings on your guitar or bass. A lot of you know this already, I'm, I'm sure. Still, there are so many players out there who are not aware of this little but very important step. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. So, what is so cool about round core strings? Most importantly, they feel different under the fingers. Bending a wound round core string just feels smoother, which is of course nice. They also corrode a little less than modern hex core strings because there's no air between the core and the wrap wire. There's a very important step when installing round core strings though. If you just simply cut to shorten round core strings, the wound ones of course, the wrap wire will most probably become loose and uh, slip off the core wire because it's round and smooth. On a string like this, the wrap wire doesn't have anchor points uh, so that's pretty much just the nature of these strings. All you have to do to avoid this slipping off is bend the end of the string at least 90 degrees and cut it behind that bend. Remember, it has to be a nice and sharp one, a sharp bend. What I want to do today is show you how to do that on a Les Paul, on a Fender with vintage machine heads and on a bass. This is what you do on a Fender with vintage tuners. You pull the string kind of tight, measure a little over the next tuner to do that sharp bend. Then hold the string on the side of the headstock and cut the string where it's in line with the end of the tuning post. If you want to be extra safe, which you should be, I guess, cut the string with the cutter in an angle instead of 90 degrees to the string itself. With that, you keep the wrap wire tight even on the bent end of the string. Then stick the string in the hole and tune it up. As for the plain strings, the G, B and E, you don't have to do any of this. If you want to save some time and a few steps, you can just simply pull the plain string tight, measure two machine heads and then cut it. Then place the end in the center of the tuner and tighten the string. Installing round core strings on a Les Paul or any other guitar with the hole on the side of the tuner is much easier. You line up the holes of the tuners to allow the strings to pass through them. Then pull the string tight, measure one and a half tuner distance on guitars with three left and three right tuner construction and pull the string back by that length. On guitars with six tuners in line, this distance will be two tuners instead of just one and a half. Then do a sharp bend in the end of the string right at the tuner hole and tune it up. On basses, it's pretty similar as on guitars. The only difference is that the distances are bigger. If the hole for the string is on the side of the tuner, you just pull the string through, tighten it, measure the length of one and a half tuners, pull the string back by that length, bend the string at the axis side and tune it up. If the bass has a vintage Fender style tuner, you'll do the same thing as what I did on the Telecaster. You measure one and a half tuners, that length, bend the string real sharp, then cut it about an inch away from that bend. For us metric people, that's about three centimeters. <laughs> Same as with the tally, try to cut the string in a sharp angle to lock that red wire on the core wire. Then you can tighten the string and tune it up. And now it's time for a test ride. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions left. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars and basses yourself. Don't be afraid of set... What? <laughs> What's this last sentence? My brain. It's time, it's time to, to become your own guitar, guitar tech. tech. Jesus. It's time to become your own guitar tech.